Hey monsters, it's the Lego version of Mr. Neway with a review of Biotic and Abiotic. To start off with, this baseball that I'm standing on top of. Would that be Biotic or Abiotic? Remember, Biotic is living or dead. Abiotic is non-living. That's right, it's Abiotic. Okay, here I am on top of the fish tank. The fish in the tank, biotic or abiotic? We can definitely see the fish swimming around. They're gonna be biotic. How about the fish tank itself, if we pan out? That's right, abiotic because it's made of glass and plastic. Hey, look who I found inside the refrigerator. It's Lego Mrs. Neewame. And we're sitting on top of a big pile of vegetables from actual Mrs. Neewame's garden. Would the vegetables be biotic or abiotic? I mean, they're not still growing in the garden, they're in the fridge. That's right, they're still biotic, even though technically, since they're not growing anymore, they're dead. Dead things are still biotic and not abiotic. Okay, now we're by a plant in the living room. It's a real plant, not a plastic one. So would it be biotic or abiotic? Of course it's biotic. It's a plant. It's clearly a living thing. All right, what about this rock fountain? Biotic or abiotic? It's rocks, and if it were turned on, it would have water flowing. Both of those are going to be abiotic. With my Starblocks coffee in hand, what better place to finish off than in front of a giant bag of French roast? Would that be biotic or abiotic? Don't consider the bag, but the coffee beans inside. Coffee beans are basically the seeds of a coffee plant. And seeds are part of a plant, so they're biotic. This has been your review of abiotic and biotic.